It's your time. It's his time. It's damn. Fuck. It's your time. It's his time. It's damn. Welcome back to the channel, man. If y'all watched the last video, appreciate you. If you haven't, go check it out, bro. Don't be on this video and not clicking the last video. But anyways, we got... I think I mentioned it in last video or a video that I edited, but I didn't post yet. <clears throat> Damn. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's bad. No, you don't do that. But um, I said Lori Harvey clear... No. What am I talking about, bro? I said I was going to talk about the Lori Harvey thing. I see that was going spiral. Spiral. Going viral on Twitter and stuff like that and I wanted to get my little opinion on it and I'll and it kind of flows into what you know we talk about on here and I already kind of have an idea of what she's gonna say obviously I haven't watched the video yet but let's get straight to it man I got a very interesting thing to say on this topic Lori Harvey. Hey, girl. Hey. Girl. Okay, first of all, congratulations on this being gorgeous oh, cover. It is the January, February issue of Essence, and it is all about black love. How important is love in your life? Love is so important. Love is the foundation, I feel like, to everything. Um, and this is the black love issue. And yeah. This is the first time that they're featuring a single I want to hear yeah. about... I, 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 so, what's going on is she got with... I, I don't know the dude's name, but another person... Another celebrity, I guess, she got with. And everybody's saying, like, bro, she was with this person, that person, this person. Now she's with this person. She did this to uh, Michael B. Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of stuff going on. So I love honest. that. I love that you say a single woman. Because, obviously, you've been in some very public relationships over the years. Mm -hmm. And you actually told Essence, I feel like it's always been about me attached to something or someone. This time, it's about me. It's my time. I saw this quote and I was like, this is everything. And I feel it's so empowering for women to hear this, especially coming from you. What made you say this? What, what are you feeling? Empowering for I recognize that, girl. She was in, she was in, she was in, I'm in love with a church girl. She was a little church girl that the black dude was in love with. And then she was also in, she was in Coach Carter. She was... Uh, Ashanti's friend, one of Ashanti's friends. For women to hear this, especially coming from you, what made you say this? What What are you feeling in this time? I just feel like I'm growing. I mm -hmm. feel like I'm growing as a woman, as an individual. Do they talk so about like, you know, the relationship though? Because that's the only reason why I'm watching this. Yeah, just being patient with myself in every stage as I'm growing. But I feel like even saying like I'm single and saying this is a single woman on the cover. You've been in, like I said, so many relationships that we've heard about. Mm -hmm. How old is this video, bro? Five days ago. Oh, biggest misconception, okay. And you're like, yes, I've been attached to these things. It's about someone or someone else. How does it feel to finally be able to do a cover like this and be like, it ain't about them. Mm -hmm. It's about me. And what, what does that mean to you? It feels very empowering. Yeah. Like I said, like I feel like this year especially, like I'm really stepping into my own <coughs> yeah. my own as a woman. I feel like I'm officially kinda of getting grown now. Okay. I'm really learning myself. Yeah. How you know, old is growing she? my brand, growing my business. Yeah. So I'm just focusing on me now. I feel like I've, you know, focused on so many other things for years, just as I've been growing. You know, I was young, you had to yeah. figure yourself out. Um, just figuring out how to navigate life. So I feel like we saw a lot of you, but it was even like even now hearing you do interviews and being like, I want to come out here, I want to talk, I want people to hear what I have to say, what I think. I remember some of your first interviews, one of the first was on The Real. And a lot of the first. comments were like, she speaks. <laughs> How did that feel to hear that? To be like, I got a lot to say. What does Lori Harvey have to say? Just, you know, that she's a young woman. She's growing. She's figuring it out. She's she looked like 24, maybe. Out. Yeah, not easy. Um, you know, just allow her some grace as she's moving and navigating life and figuring things out. Um, yeah. I like that. Okay. Now, your dad is Steve Harvey, mm -hmm. and I feel like he's a guru of relationships. We see him be an incredible husband to your mom. What? And obviously, you have the book, Think Like a Man. Like, I, I feel like everybody wants to know, what is the one piece of advice he's given you that really has stuck? Just remember that you're the prize always. Say that one more time. Just remember that you <laughs> are the prize. Yes. That's like his golden slogan for me. Yeah. And so. what does that mean for you in relationships? When you're like, I'm the prize, what does that mean? It just means not compromising like my values, my happiness, my peace, 
not settling for less than what I know I deserve, and not being afraid to walk away from the situation if it's like no longer serving me. I even feel like a lot of people. Here's a funny thing about um. Let's hear what she said again, because I could also be saying this out of context. Obviously, she's not probably gonna get fully, 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 fully into detail, but. It just means not compromising like my values, my happiness, my peace, not settling for less than what I know I deserve. So. <clears throat> here goes with the happiness thing. Um, there's gonna be times where you aren't happy in a relationship and if you get up and leave when you're not happy with like it's different if it's like cheating abuse stuff like that that's different but stuff where you know things aren't just just aren't going the way it's supposed to be going maybe you guys can't see eye to eye on communication maybe you guys don't see eye to eye and working each working things out as far as we're going to see each other schedules different stuff like that or whether an argument might happen a petty argument whatever the case may be it's going to be a lot of times where you aren't happy and what we do today's time a lot of people their happiness is literally paramount in all things. And Steve Harvey, I watch him, and he just told her not to compromise your happiness. And a lot of girls or women, you know, men too, probably. You know, the problem we have, I'm going to include men in this, but I do, I, from my personal, I think any man can probably has experienced this. If a person's happiness is paramount in all situations, that is a bad thing. It's a bad thing because there's going to be times where you not happy, but you sticking through. You trying to get the shit better. But when they not happy, whether it's the man or woman, it's a problem. They, they about to cut. They thinking about leaving. They thinking about all type of stuff. And that's the problem. A person whose happiness is paramount in all things is a very dangerous person. And not being afraid to walk away Facts. from the situation is like no longer serving me. I even feel like a lot of people could have speculated so many things in your past relationships and you've always been so classy and very mum's the word. You're like, I'm not going to be out here saying a whole lot, but if it does not serve me, I'm moving on. Mm -hmm. I got that. Now, so many things get written about you in the press, but I've always wanted to know what is like the biggest misconception about who Lori Harvey is? It's so funny because there's because I'm so quiet. Yeah. There's been so many stories that have yeah. been made up about me. Like yeah. I've seen stories about me being like fully in love with somebody, and we have like this whole relationship. And I'll see the guy, and I'm like, I've actually never even met him before. No. Like full blown stories. Mm. I've heard I've dated a father and son before. Not true. I've, absolutely not true. And I've even heard that I'm a lesbian at one point. So you wait. Know, <sighs> So why everybody was saying that's what I was trying. I was waiting for her to say that. Why everybody? Why was everybody saying that she dated Diddy and, and, and his son? Or not at the same? Wait, did she not at the same time? But that she's dated the father before and the son. So what was all that going on? What was all that speculation about man? If she didn't really do that, that's why I try not to believe everything I hear. It's been Conception. Does so. it entertain you? Oh, I think they're hilarious. I love the stories. They're, they're very entertaining. I will yeah. give them that. Yeah. Very entertaining, but I just let it roll on my shoulder. I love that. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on. Because I heard that. I was waiting for her to get to that. I guess she said she didn't do it. I don't know. I guess, I guess that's what I was getting at. But what I wanted to say, though, to wrap this video up, for people, I guess she's talking to multiple people, not at the same time, but talking to people like in the industry. It's the same thing rappers do, right? In her, in her field or what, whatever the case may be, celebrity to celebrity, celebrity, whatever the case may be, I guess she's denying that she dated the father and son. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I want y'all to understand this, bro. Stop blaming her. We got to hold the men accountable. If men, if men want to go get with the same person that this 
movie star got with that, that rapper got with that, that boxer got with that, that other athlete went with. If they want to keep doing that, let the men, let the men do that. Let them be, let them do that. If they feel like it's a smart move, which is probably not a smart move, let them do that. If they want to go on social media and talk about how she was this, how she was that, bro, you knew her lineup and her history. Not You're not supposed to really judge people off. You're not supposed to really judge people, but you know what I'm saying? Keep that in mind, though. Look at things. Take things slow. Let, hold them accountable. At that at that point, it's not her fault. It's their fault. I, 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 she's denying the rumor, so I'm taking her word for it, but... Like, this video right here says boozy on her body count. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so it says Lori Harvey was with Future, Trey Songs, and now Justin Combs. This gonna be a this gonna be a two for one right here. We're gonna we gonna see what this video is talking about. We all come here for different <clears throat> We ain't gonna watch all of it, but we just gonna like 22 year old Lori Harvey has adopted her stepdad's think like a man <coughs> approach by playing the field with many eligible bachelors. Lori, after calling off her engagement, was rumored to be seeing rapper Future for a while, but those rumors ended when Future clapped back at her after seeing pictures of her hanging out with Trey Songs. However, Lori, Lori recently deleted pictures of her and Trey off Instagram and soon after was seen hanging out with Diddy's son, Justin Combs. She's also been recently linked to British race car driver, Lewis Hamilton. Nice. And get this, rumor has it, Meek Mill tried to holler at her, but she wasn't interested. People on Twitter nice. have found it extremely refreshing that Lori is basically doing what so many men do. Like user, I am Mark Landry. I swear her dad messed up at like a lot of women use that book to well, I even don't say nothing on that. Lori Harvey, the first black woman to successfully pull a U on you. <laughs> you gotta man gotta be man, women gotta be women. First of all, she ain't the first black woman to do that. All right. I just wanna make that clear. But go ahead. Yeah. I've always thought that if you are not married, ladies especially, you should absolutely be out there openly dating to get to know yourself and what you like. I'm all about that. And I want to be clear. If you date, if I take 10 different girls out on the date, you think I can honestly get to know all 10? If I take four girls out on a date, or dating, or like, how can I, I don't know. No matter what you call it, here we call it multi-dating, which means mm -hmm. openly dating to get to know people. It also means if you're on an app, you're multi. Me personally, I don't, bro. If we're on a date and I find out you talking to other people, it's no bad blood with us, but that would be our last date. Don't, like, I'm, I'm officially, I'm not going to be in your rotation. You can do what you do. I'm not hating, I'm not, do what you do. I hope you make it in life. But do not ask me, why don't we do this anymore? Bro, I'm not going to be in your... I'm, you're not going to be dating James today, then go to Corey, then go to Steven, and then, and then go to... Go to Jacob, and then go to uh, Dylan, and then try to come to me. Like, that's not happening. Like, no, I'm sorry. I'm not... It's no bad blood. Not mean you're multi doing it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. saying? It doesn't matter. You don't have to be doing. It. I'm not. You're just. I'm just. That's just not me though. Like that's all. Like I, I let that be known. For, like that's just not me personally. You know what I mean? Not it's no hate. It's no bad that. blood. If you are. That's your prerogative. But it's not cool to just assume that a woman is doing. Well, I actually coined the phrase. I have to be because I looked it up. I wrote a book called Love Them or Leave Them, but don't get stuck with the tab. Yeah. And in it, I was talking about how. You know, we get caught up with all these rules and, you know, actually think like a man um, in that it was like this 90 day rule. And I thought, who wants to just spend time on some one person for 90 days? And I'm like, that's really not realistic. So I applaud someone like Lori because you should multi date and that's what we call it. Multi day. Yeah, they already got what I needed in this video. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button, um, subscribe. I was going to continue it, but they already kind of talked about what I thought they were going to talk about. I just needed to know who the other people were. But recipes to Cardi, Sweets, Extra, my grandma, both our grandmas, and I'm out, man.